Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm taking a look at World War Z and the rather lack of ultra wide support that it's got. Now the devs have said that they are looking at implementing ultra wide to this game, but right now it's not here and we can't be 100% confident that they are actually going to do it. As you can see, it's got the standard issue black bars either side. Not particularly thrilling. However, we can rectify this, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So let's get away from this screen size and get it filling the monitor. What we're going to do, guys, is come to this web address. I will put that in the description of the video below, so you can easily click on it. And all we're going to do is download a modified EXE for the game. So this isn't going to give you any copy protection problems or anything like that. This is just to make sure uh, it fills the monitor up. Okay, a 21B9 monitor. Now, there is an FOV patch as well, but this uses a sort of crack and wasn't too stable when I tried it. So at the moment, I'm not going to be covering that at all until somebody sort of fixes it or they do it officially. Okay, so... There is one out there, I'm sure if you Google it you'll be able to find it, but it's not something I would recommend right now. But go ahead, click download, download this to wherever you can find it, you know, your desktop or somewhere, because you're going to need to unpack it and then copy it across. So go ahead, copy it across, download it somewhere where you can find it easily. I'm going to save it right there as a zip file. We're going to have to unpack this zip file. So just wait for it to download, show in folder. Right, there we go and we have retail egs.zip now you want to extract that so we're going to extract it straight away and it unpacks to retail egs.exe an executable file this one right here now you're going to have to put that file in your game folder okay so find your game folder um if i just find mine there we go oops gone there's my game one that's the original game yeah and we also want this one, the new one. So this is a new one you've just unpacked. This is the original. We're going to copy this across, like so. Overwrite the original file. There we go. And we're going to run the game again. And there we are, guys. There's your auto ride running nicely. As you can see, no problems there. Your startup sort of screen that you get will look a bit strange okay it's got like a faded area either side Holy but it shit. works fine as you can see there's no problem in playing the game like this like i say it doesn't affect anything if i do get the um fov working correctly you know without it glitching out or being problematic or causing other type issues then obviously i will make another video and update as necessary right now though i'm just trying to help you pc guys out at the end of the day it's free help it makes it work it's something that should have been there day one in my opinion in fact every game should support ultra wide now it's certainly common enough but this is running on 2560 by 1080 ahead, I don't see settings we that's what happens in the menu back. look so when you pull up your screen or in your intro you've got a weird area each side you go to settings and go to video there you go full screen now this actually shows this on my monitor when it's uh, in the original version with the black bars each side even even showing the correct resolution it still had the black bars but now as you can see it's correct we're on full screen 2560 by 1080 and everything works just fine so guys i hope this is of some sort of help to some of you guys out there if it is great give me a thumbs up you know if you, if you find a problem with it or a bug with it yeah let me know you know i'll uh, carry on looking at it not a problem thanks a lot for watching I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.